The Brood are a result of, uh, well, science tragedy, really. Way back when, when the planet was still run by the mega corporations, there was a facility, the IBC facility, down in the swamps that specialized in making bioweapons. Biological warfare, whether it was viruses or poisons or actual creatures that they made in this facility. They were all designed to inflict damage and harm upon the enemies of the highest bidder. When the abandonment happened and the most important people left, they were left with a facility that literally had a basement full of monsters. The decision of the workers was to just turn the lights off and walk slowly away, leaving behind hopefully what would eventually die out. Well, of course it didn't, and the brood is the result. These are biological horrors that have broken free from their confines of this facility and have gone out to explore the world, led by this mysterious entity known as the Broodmare. She's kind of the overall mother that breeds and controls and helps the evolutions along the adaptations of the various brood creatures to fulfill her, hopefully her destiny, something written in her DNA that says that the brood will one day be a greater thing. The brood have all kinds of different critters that are extremely diverse from the lowly little puds, which are these little uh, slug-like things that's basically a, a slug with bigger teeth and fangs that can jump at you and rip, either rip your face off, or if you happen to be a, a brood monster that's in need of some first aid, the puds can actually be used as almost like a living band-aid. They jump onto a wound and kind of suck onto it until you know the wound eventually heals. Most brood have a mastery over their biological cells to the point where they either heal damage just naturally, they regenerate wounds, or sometimes they have to imbibe another brood creature to patch themselves up. Or like I said, the, the puds kind of come over and help, you know, give a hand when they can't do it themselves. So you've got from the lowliest pud all the way up to the terrifying lizard dragon style howler, this swamp monster that, you know, can break down trees and lets out screams that you can hear for miles away that'll deafen those who are too close. Um, all the way to some of the sentient, almost generals within the army, the broodmare's chief children uh, from MJB4. He's a, a, a terror on the battlefield to uh, Halexa, the queen of the Delta. She is um, way more subtle. She leads her forces from behind and gets them to go do her bidding, but she's still totally capable, capable of ripping people's faces off in close combat. The brood are all over the place. They're fast, they're lethal, they're stalwart if they have the right resource management when it comes to their own damage and their own wounds. Overall, they're just a faction full of monsters and they're super fun on the battlefield and they're unbelievably neat models to take a look at and see just kind of this, you almost look at them and see the way the broodmare shaped this primordial clay into this creature that's now terrorizing your opponents. If you've got a good command over how you're using your hit points and how you're applying that damage and with, you know, when to take that step back and take a breather and then rush back in. The brood really will have a massive, massive hand on the battlefield and they will tear your opponents to pieces.